Japan's Type 23 air defense missile, and China's HQ 16 Fei, who can occupy the technological high ground in East Asia's air defense game with the new generation of shipborne air defense systems of the two countries in service one after another. The answer to this question is not only related to the equipment performance of the competition, but also reflects the profound evolution of the regional security pattern. The development of Japan's Type 23 air defense missile began in 2017, based on the land-based Type 03, improved in depth upgrades. 2024 completion of the deployment of this type of missile, marking the first time Japan to get rid of the U.S. extended-range Sea Sparrow missile's dependence and the pursuit of independent air defense capabilities. Its core improvements include a redesigned Redome, a mid-range data link guidance system, and a booster system derived from the Type 07, vertically launched anti-submarine rocket. Under the Ministry of Defense's 32.7 billion yuan budget allocation for 2025, the Type 23 missile focuses on strengthening its interception capability against supersonic sea skimming targets, and in tests on the test ship Akira in 2022, it successfully shot down a GQM-163 a Coyote target that simulated Mach 2 to Mach 5 flight, demonstrating its potential to counter modern anti-ship threats. This shows the potential to respond to modern anti-ship threats. However, its specific parameters are still classified. The outside world can only speculate through the 03 type basic performance bullet length of about 5 meters, 0.32 meters in diameter, the use of active radar in guidance, and command correction in the guidance. The range may break through the 100 kilometers, a single MK4 one patat tube, loading the design of the unit to give up a pit of four bombs route, and the pursuit of interception efficiency and energy redundancy. In contrast, China's HQ-16 Fei evolutionary path is more clear. As the fourth generation of the HQ-16 family of products, its technological leap is reflected in four major dimensions. First, through the wingless layout to reduce flight resistance, with a high ratio of impulse solid engine, the maximum range from the early models of 40 km to 160 km. The killing of far field coverage beyond the European Aster 30 and the United States Standard 2 late type, Secondly, the introduction of side thrust engine technology enables the missile to perform lateral maneuvering in the terminal on powered phase, increasing the hit rate by more than 40% compared with the traditional design, which is especially critical in intercepting hypersonic targets. Thirdly, the guidance system integrates Julian autonomous initial guidance, command corrected mid range guidance, and dual mode final guidance combined with active phased array radar to achieve the ability of tracking 12 batches of targets at the same time and intercepting 8 batches of anti-saturation. Fourthly, it is the first time to integrate anti-missile system, which is the first time to integrate anti-missile system. Fourth, for the first time integrated anti-missile function, can intercept medium and short-range ballistic missiles with a range of 1,000 km, anti-missile radius of 600 km, and HQ-9. B to form a complementary. Zhuhai Airshow public display of live ammunition model shows that its light bar cartridge design and 27 km maximum intercept altitude has the potential to extend the regional air defense system to strategic defense. From the technical generation point of view, the 23 type essence is still 03 type improvement framework of progressive innovation while the HQ-16 Fei has realized the system reconstruction. Although Japan's data chain coordination and radar multi-target processing advantages, but its MK-4-1 vertical launch system 635 mm diameter limits the expansion of the missile size, resulting in range enhancement depends on the engine efficiency of the submarine it is difficult to break through the physical space constraints. On the contrary, China's 650 mm Patat system for HQ-16 Fei reserved 20% diameter redundancy, with modular design compatible with future models of extended range. This forward-looking layout in the 054B type frigate 32 units of the Patat configuration has appeared in the end. In addition, Japan's 23 type operational reliability is still in doubt, only a limited number of live fire tests before the 2024 rush to the installation. While the HQ-16 Fei as early as 2023 will be simulated confrontation through the Red Sea region to verify the ability to resist saturation attack, its full life cycle maintenance free, its full life cycle maintenance free design has increased the operational readiness efficiency of shipboard deployment to more than 90%. The technical differences between the two types of missiles reflect different strategic considerations. Japan has positioned the Type 23 as a shield for its southwestern defenses, 
attempting to build air defense depth in the East China Sea to the Taiwan Strait, but its 100-kilometer range is questionable in the face of China's YJ-21 and DF-17 combination strike. More ironically, Japan's simultaneous deployment of improved Type 12 anti-ship missiles, which are susceptible to interception by the HQ-9B due to their subsonic flight characteristics, has stimulated the strengthening of China's anti-intervention system. China relies on the HQ-16 Fe to build a multi-layered defense, short-range HQ-10 to intercept sea-skimming targets, medium-range HQ-16 Fe to cover the perimeter of the fleet, long-range HQ-9B to deal with strategic threats, and the fusion of the three data chains to form a closed chain of kill. This systematic advantage was verified in the South China Sea Joint Exercise in 2024, when the simulated confrontation successfully intercepted 32 incoming missiles of various types at the same time. Future competition may focus on two major areas. First, hypersonic defense. Japan was supported by the United States $200 million US dollars to develop a new interceptor, while China has carried out HQ-16 Fei and microwave weapon synergistic test. Second, artificial intelligence fire control. Japan is trying to realize the group of ships through the fire control network to achieve synergistic interception, while China demonstrated in the Zhuhai Airshow quantum radar-based target allocation system, response speed increased by three orders of magnitude. It is worth noting that both countries have abandoned the one-pit four bombs route, revealing that modern air defense focuses more on the effectiveness of a single bomb rather than the number of stacks. The U.S. extended range Sea Sparrow intercept failure rate of more than 60% in the Red Sea conflict, while the success rate of the standard two single shot intercept more than 85%, a lesson that has had a profound impact on the East Asian region. This lesson has profoundly affected the path of air defense development in East Asia. Looking at the whole picture, HQ 16 Fe occupies a leading position in the current technological window by virtue of its range advantage, anti missile capability, and maturity. However, Japan's Type 23, as its first domestically produced shipboard air defense system, marks a breakthrough in military industrial autonomy, and the subsequent improved model or with the help of U.S.-Japanese technical cooperation to narrow the gap. This silent missile race not only is the competition of technical strength, but also the contest of strategic patience. When the DF-17 tail flame lit up the night sky, the East Asian sky air defense pattern has long exceeded the simple comparison of weapons, sublimated into a system of confrontation and strategic will of the ultimate game.